Okay, so now all the hard work's done, and we can go ahead and finish off our application by attaching the function calls to the events. So there's three events really to be concerned with on this application, and that'll be the loading of the page, the clicking of the add label, or the clicking of the delete label. So let's start off with our page. We'll double click on our page in an empty area here, and in the on show area of the actions tab, we'll type in get items. Okay, what this is going to do is it's going to call our get items function as we've defined it in the global functions area, and it's basically going to play back, if you like, all the code that we've defined within that function. So every time this page loads, it's going to populate our list box for us. All right, so let's double click on our add label, since that's the next event we need to deal with. And in the on click area of the actions tab, go ahead and type add item. And that's going to call our add item function that we set up in our global functions area and every time someone clicks this label it's going to go through that whole process of retrieving the data from the input fields and putting it in the uh, database via the PHP script and then clearing out the input fields and so forth all the stuff that we define in the global functions area as our add item function we'll press OK now let's double click on the delete label and we'll do the same thing here we'll call our delete item function and every time this is clicked, it's going to go ahead and play back all the code from our global functions area, which is defined inside the delete item function. So let's press OK. And our project is complete and ready to preview. Now, just to mention that we've built a fairly bare bones project here. And if you were creating a commercial version of this application, of course, you'd want to build in a lot more error protection, user error protection, and possibly label your elements here a little better, such as the name and number field and so forth. But since we're just basically trying to explore the functionality of the PHP and MySQL, this works pretty good for our demonstration. Okay, so we've finished off our project. Now let's go on to the next video tutorial where we will test out our project, and then we'll summarize this chapter and try and integrate what we've learned into a cohesive overall picture.